Welcome to another video from the farm. Today I'm going to be installing some directional antennas to try and boost our 4G LTE internet service. So as you may have seen in some of our other videos, we use this little pointing omnidirectional aerial and a Huawei router to give us internet here at the farm. As you can see, we have two bars of signal from that little aerial. But at the moment, it's not giving us very impressive speeds at all. As you can see, connected to the Wi-Fi. Yeah, not impressive. Enough to stream a video. Not enough to upload a video. Will we even get an upload speed? Oh, shocking. So the end results, not brilliant at all. Let's start plugging this directional antenna together then and see if we can get any better. So as we look in the distance there, we've got our neighbour's new barn, which I believe to be the cause of our internet issues. So what I believe has happened is that our little aerial there is now no longer high enough to actually see the tower with pretty much line of sight. So I found out which direction the tower is to which our 4, 4G network is connected to. And you can probably see on the video that we've got it angled towards it at the moment. Now that barn I've just showed you went up earlier on in the year and I believe, yeah, that's now blocking the signal because it's basically the direct line between us and the uh, antenna where we get the signal from. So fingers crossed with this new one, we can just get above the barn for signal and get a stronger signal because we're using a directional antenna. As I just said, hoping to get these a little bit higher in the air these cables that it comes attached with are seven and a half meters so i should be able to get almost an extra three meters up in height for this so fingers crossed we can just peek above that barn over there so to start with then we need to mount these to a pole as you can see they've got an angled bracket on them so when we mount them to a pole they're offset at 45 degrees now the other one's mounted the opposite way so that will allow us to have our MIMO aerial set up with the antennas really close together as the two poles are basically 180 from each other so the signals don't interfere apparently. And also has the advantage that we can use one pole rather than two poles. So less timber. Fortunately we've got a little stockpile here. So this 3 by 2 piece of timber fits nicely in the little bracket so it's going to enable me to fit both of them together, one on either side like that and have a nice cross axis on the frequencies. So it should work well with just a little block of this between the two aerials and then we'll try and mount this to one of these massive bits of timber to get it in the air. Not a long process, it should be pretty simple I hope. Right let's get to cutting some wood up, get screwing things together. So. So I'm just going to eyeball this one, I think. Pretty much just need a little block of wood that's going to be just a bit longer than the brackets. A little bit extra, just in case I need to put some male brackets on it. I will just point out as well, it does come with these metal brackets so you can attach it properly through this to a metal pole or something but yeah i don't have a metal pole okay so a slight change of plan to stop the construction of this getting too ropey i'm just going to attach one piece of aerial well one antenna to this piece of wood then i'm going to mount it like that i should probably mount the wood first then mount this to the wood again and then i'm just going to mount the other one straight to the top of the pole this next bit nice and easy then I'm just going to screw these on one here, one at the top. Bosh, pretty simple to mount on. Now, if we look down them, you should kind of see the way they're laid out, that if you were to superimpose this one on top of this one, they would form a cross shape. Now we've got the right shape, we should get good signal with it if we can point it at the tower. So I'll unwrap these cables quickly 
and then I'll try and get this whole rig up on the roof. Okay, so I've got the rig just propped up against the shed at the minute, pointed at the tower. And uh, yeah, we're already up to full signal and it's actually about a metre lower than that omnidirectional one. Oh wow. That's uh, a pretty significant boost. Let's wait for this test to finish, see some results. So yeah, not too bad at all. And like I said, it's about a metre lower in the air than the uh, omnidirectional one. Just getting us a way better signal straight away. So let's get this up in the air to its maximum seven and a half metres height. So I'm quickly going to use some insulation tape, tape the cables together and tape them to this pole a bit. I'll start with one around the top. It's basically doing this, keep it nice and secure. If we have a wind, we don't want these cables flapping around in the wind. Okay then. We're all taped up. Let's get this in the air, get up on the roof with it. So I'm going to attempt, if I can, to mount it to this same pole as the other one. I should be able to lift this up easy enough. Okay, so that was an absolute nightmare to try and film whilst doing, so I didn't bother. After the little burglary, I don't have my stand anymore. So yeah, couldn't film that one, but anyway, it's up. And we're pointed in the right direction over there. Cables down through the hole. Let's go give it a speed test. Yeah, she's up high now. Up taller than the feed silo. So yeah. Now we're talking ridiculously good internet we got here. I've got better broadband here now than I have at home. So with these results, I can definitely recommend getting yourself a little dual pair of directional antennas for your 4G LTE network. A ridiculous spike in download speed, oh, 10 times the download speed. And yeah, wow, a ridiculous amount of upload speed now. We can actually upload videos from the farm. So, job complete. New antennas installed and tested, and they work ridiculously well. So we'll wrap this video up here on installing better 4G LTE internet using directional antennas. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Also, go ahead and become a subscriber if you're not already one. Right then, until next time, bye-bye.